Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Davis Field. At this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats for a prayer to be followed by the playing of our national anthem. But before we do that, we would like to mention and thank three alumni siblings who provided Central with a new, much bigger American flag. Chris Ockley, the class of 1991, Mike Ockley, the class of 1992, and their sister Beth Ockley Knight, class of 1994. We are very grateful for your contribution. Thank you. Almighty God, you have created us to strive for our best. Grant to all athletes, coaches, and fans the strength to pursue excellence during this event. We pray for the safety of these athletes, protect them from injury and harm, and help us to honor you today in all we do on and off the field and make us witnesses to your glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Welcome to Fayette, Missouri, Davis Field. This is Charlie Brown along with Jim Ray Cluck. Football action for you today in the heart. William Penn Statesman in town in Fayette to take on the Central Methodist University Eagles. The Statesman come in with a record of 1-4 and four overall. The Eagles come in with a record of 3-2. and two. And, Jim Ray, we're going to probably see uh, two different styles of football today, won't we? That is correct. Uh, the Statesmen are an option team. They think they throw the ball five, six times a game. That will be about it. They're going to run the football. They have over 300 yards uh, rushing a game on the average. So they're going to do the, they, that triple option, uh, Charlie, is, is hard. You only see that once or twice a year, and it's hard to prepare for it at the speed at which the Statesmen will be running for the CMU defense. They had, their, they had their second teamers in there doing that this week, but again, it's not up to the speed. CMU will come out, they'll, they'll try to establish a running game, run a little play action, or RPOs, run pass option, and they're, but they're going to throw the ball. Yep. They definitely got one of the best receivers in the nation. Yep. Uh, the running back on uh, to part player to watch on the William Penn side is uh, number 43, Ben Sherman. He's rushed the ball 99 times this year for 544 yards. That's a 5.5 average, and he's scored nine touchdowns so far this year. So he's the uh, main man on the rushing side of it. On the passing side, uh, not much. Uh, 129 yards leads that, leads that team as opposed to uh, Central. Catavius Taylor has 416 yards of receiving offense with seven touchdowns. So we're going to see a couple of different things today. We're going to see a, a more diversified offense from Central and a run attack from William Penn. So we're happy that uh, you've joined us today. It's overcast. The sun was out a little while ago. There's rain on the way. We're hoping that it skips us and goes on somewhere else and we're able to get all this in. Uh-huh, they're just saying that there's lightning in the area. The kickoff is going to be delayed, and they would like for everybody to leave the area. So we are going to go ahead and pause this, and when 
the get ready to resume and uh, go. We will be back on the air, so uh, we'll just wait around for the powers to be to tell us when to do what we're going to do. And uh, I'm going to turn around to uh, my producer, and we're going to uh, work our way through this. So we will be back in just uh, whenever we can. We'll be back. So hang on. Just keep checking until we come back. All right, we're back. After that delay that turns out to be about 40 minutes or so, 45-minute delay, we're in a warm-up period. We're a couple of minutes away from the kick. They say 3 o'clock kick, so we'll go with that. Teams are both out, warmed up, stretched, ready to go. Anthony Hernandez and Paxton Delarant look like they're going to be the captains for the Eagles. That's a freshman and a senior, but a well-seasoned freshman, Charlie and Delarant. Kid from down at Camden to Missouri, 6'6", about 230, 225 along in there. He spins that ball pretty good, Charlie. Looking, and, yeah, looking to see what we've got captain-wise. Luke Masters. Rogan Forts. And I'm looking to see if that's it's 99. That would be Marquise Knighton. That is correct. Fairly good sized man at 5'11 and 360. <laughs> that's called a stump in my books. Uh, that's, he stopped going up and started going out. And Filled out nicely. I tell you what, he doesn't look 360. All right, so there's the flip. Talking it over with both sides. Way of pin one would do first. So Central will get the ball and be going from our right to our left. So after about a 45-minute delay plus a few minutes and then the extra time to warm up again, we're just about set to go here at Davis Field. Three and two Eagles versus the one and four Statesmen. So the Eagles will get the ball first. And quite, like you said before, Charlie, and we got started early in the pregame, cut it. Quite a contrast in offenses here. So Donald Clark, Cole Schroeder back for the Eagles to return this kickoff. Looks like number 80, Trapper Baim, to kick off. Clark at the bottom of your screen, Schroeder at the top. Bame just about ready to give it a kick. It's underway, and it's going to come to Schroeder about the five. Heads up field. Gets a block. Keeps going now close to the 30-yard line. There's a group of statesmen there to bring, that, bring him down. Pretty good return, Charlie. Jamison on the top stop for the Statesman. So the Eagles with the ball at their own 30-yard line. So offensive line average is over about 310, Charlie. And I see hard 95 to be exact. Down at the bottom of your screen, you got a really big guy in front of a much smaller guy. That's hard in the front of that little eye set down below. They're hiding him back there. And you can hide behind him. He's like 6'7". Delarant back, looks, out in the flat, incomplete. Keeley was the intended receiver. Yeah, just ran him out of the backfield out into the flat, but not able to make connection. Should have, should have caught that ball, I thought. Kind of a drop instead of a missed throw by Delarant. 
Now around on the year, 62 of 122, 845 yards, 10 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Nice touchdown number is going to have cut down on the INTs. It's a little over 50% completion rate. Flushed out here to Hards, and he drops it. So 0 for 2 on the score sheet and 2 drops. He just got to try to catch that ball before he... Before he caught it, he was trying to run. It's a problem there. Trayvon Hards. So it'll be third down and ten. The referee was uh, umpire was getting ready to spot that at the 35, which would have been okay because then when we picked up five free yards. Plenty of time on the play clock, Charlie. 27. Yeah, I'm looking around. I do I find a number two out there? Catavius Taylor. Third and ten. Screen pass coming. Busted up. Almost intercepted. Yeah, they, they would defense that quite well, the statesman did. Forces that fourth down. They were all over that screen. I thought it was a good call myself, but not really. Yeah, he looked left and then tried to come back to the right, and there was too many white jerseys there, so the statesman hold, and it's going to be three and out for the Eagles. Luke Masters deep for William Penn. Petron back to punt. Masters back. Petron averages 38.3 yards per punt. Good snap. Kick is away. Going to hit and check up, go the wrong direction, and down at the 45-yard line. What a great punter by, by no means. Didn't get a bounce. Checked up like one of your golf shots, Jim Ray. Yeah, I haven't played in a while, but uh, they never did check up too good. They always wanted to run. They hit them where they, as we, as we Willie Keeners, Kiner, Keener said, the baseball player hit them where there ain't. That's what my golf game was. Hit them where they ain't. Hit them where the, there's no flag. Correct. All right. So, Rodney Hall at quarterback for the Statesman. One wide receiver top, one to the bottom, right up the middle. Pretty good there push by that offensive line, Charlie. They're going to pick up about four yards there. That's Ben Sherman. He is their leading rusher. He's run 99 times for 544 yards, and he's going to pick up three there. Offensive line averages about 280, 275, a little lighter than most offensive lines in the heart, but pretty quick too. And they're tight in their formation. Yeah, you got wings in motion. Handoff. Sherman up the middle. Push back. He's going to pick up about three more, and I'll make it third down and four. Washington on the stop for the Eagles in a, in a convocation of other Eagles. So Statesman have the ball in Eagle territory at the 49-yard line. Third down and a long four. Hall, 7 of 12 on the season, 80 yards, one touchdown. They don't throw the ball much. Sherman, the running back. Motion. Quarterback keeps it, and he's going to have the first down. He just followed that back right up in that hole that was open there. He probably should have gave it. But he just followed it up kind of like a lead play, an old lead play out of the eye. So the first first down of the ball game goes Statesman route. Mark down at the 42 yard line. First down. 10. Just inside the 43. This is what we're going to see all day, I believe, Jim Ray. It will be a three yards in a cloud of dust. Woody, Woody Hayes type football. Woody Hayes philosophy. There's Sherman again. He stood up, but he's going to fall forward and pick up a yard or two. Hernandez on the tackle was one of the guys I see, saw get up in Chambers. Chambers and Hernandez. Hernandez is a very active, small linebacker. 5'9", about two bills, 200, but active, extremely active. Does a great job. They're out of California. Anthony State Hernandez, up. he's got 29 tackles, including getting credit for half a sack this year. Let's go, Let's go, 
Oh, he just throws it away, out of bounds, and that ought to be a- it should be a flag because he was in the grasp, and there's it did get past the line of scrimmage, and there was a receiver within 15 yards of it. <laughs> it was he was definitely in the box. It wasn't outside the box either, Charlie. I thought that should have been a. Yep. So it'll be third down and nine. I did not know that the quarterback was a lefty. That's the only thing that bailed him out there because if he had been a right-hander, it would have been a f- pop-up on the infield. Is that Will Miles on that pressure, I believe? Uh, I believe it was. Big Will Miles, 6'6", 275. So third and nine. Charles starts in motion. Quarterback going to keep it. Can't pitch it now. Now he's hung up, and there's where he's going to end up with London Chambers holding on to him and taking him down. That was a great pursuit from the backside of the field on London Chambers. He ran clear across the field to get that. He's the leading tackler on the uh, Eagle staff with 35 tackles on the season, so that'll bring up fourth down. And this will be Trapper Bame to punt. Standing at the 10-yard line is the Eagles receiver to get this, but if it's over his head, it's going into the end zone. I'd be leery of a fake. Gets it away. Taken around the 12, 13-yard line. Brandon Molinari. I believe that's who it was. Defensive back. Good hands. Should have been a receiver. Most most D-backs have bad hands. That's why, that's they're, why they're D-backs. D-backs. That's correct. <laughs> so first and 10 from the 13-yard line. So three incomplete passes, two of which were drops. And this will be a handoff up the middle this time. Going to push forward a little bit and get out to the 15, 16-yard line. Knighton on the tackle for the Statesman. And I think they say that was Manny Langlois. Second and seven from the 16. I'm watching out a side window, so Jim Ray's actually got a better look at this than I do. 20 on the play clock, so plenty of time. Delarant checks. Back again, looks downfield. Throws short, bounces. It was a good place for that ball, just a little too short. Can't hop it in there. So third down and seven. As Delarant starts 0 for 4 in the ball game, two drops, two misses. They've been platooning quarterbacks a little bit. You may see Brown here if he doesn't get something going. Well, it's two different styles. Brown a little more run-oriented. And Delarant's got nice escapability back there and can get out of there and, and go get something. He needs to get seven-plus yards here, or they'll be punting from down close to their goal line. Flushed right, looks down, throws back across, finds his man, catches it, but he has a knee down. First down, though, Charlie, that's what we want. It's our first first down of the night. Good passer by Delarant, spun that ball quite well. Yeah, threw that back against his body towards the middle, which is dangerous at times, but that one worked out just fine. He was wide open there in the center of the field. Three to the bottom now. Almost got an offside. May have gotten an offside. Replay. Replay. Cooper Wilson with the catch, and we'll see if that is a free play. I believe it was offsides on William Penn. I was wrong last night, though. Once? Were you wrong and you just thought you were wrong? I thought I was right, but I was offside. Wrong. They called the procedure penalty, and I thought it should have been an offside. That was 20, only- 28-yard gain. The 44-yard line in Statesman territory. So now i got a better view of it. It's right in front of me. Keeley on the carry. Keeley, arm on Kelly. Keeley. 
He's the leading rusher. No, he's not. He's the second. Paxton is actually the leading rusher. That's what you refer referring to as a better runner, Brown and Paxton, but that's mostly scrambling yards. Yeah. He Keely, Keely averages just over five yards a carry. He picked up only one there, so second down to nine. Tells me they need to give him the ball more. Flushed, looks, got a man wide open out here on the side. Race to the end zone, cut back, and into the end zone. That is Keeley for the touchdown. 44-yard touchdown catch, but there's a flag at the 19-yard line. Who block in the back, Charlie? I don't know why he was out in front of everybody but one. So if it's from there, it'll come back. Take the points off the board. He was actually behind the play. It was 80, number 85, wasn't it, Charlie? That's what he said. It's Roberto Palacios, who I didn't even know was in the ball game. But He's starting tight end. There you go. So, after all of that, that hurts. Yep, take the six off the board. What was, what was the penalty? I don't know what it was, but if it was a block in the back or a hold behind the play. Silly play. That's not very smart. First and ten from the 34. Run up the middle. Nice yardage there. Manny Langlois on the carry. To the 30, so that's a gain of four. Second and six. 8.48 to go here in quarter number one. He's a second leading rusher, net wise, 158 yards on the season. Sixteen on the play clock, so plenty of time. Over the middle. Harge has it. Touchdown. No flags this time. Had a hard time catching the ball out here with wide open. Made a great catch there, yeah. Charlie. Thirty yard touchdown pass with eight eleven to go. Trayvon Hards. That's only his fifth reception of the year, but it's his second touchdown catch. It's not bad. 40 Big of your, target. 40% of your catches or touchdowns will take that all year long. Yeah, throw him the ball a little more often, right? Yeah, exactly, Charlie. That's the way my thinking is. Of course, I'm not – common sense ain't too common. Petron, ball down, kick on the way, and good. Seven nothing. Want to thank our corporate sponsors for their continued support of CMU Athletics, MFA Oil, LeBron Home, Jennings Premium Meats, Community Auto Sales and Service, Air Link, Drury Hotels, Missouri Pacific Lumber, and Commercial Trust Company. Try to patronize those people. They're great supporters of this program yeah. here at CMU. And I knew I was leaving somebody off, and it's Howard County Electric also involved in that. So thank those folks. They pay, pay the bills to help us get on to bring you these ball games. So Petron to kick off now. Big hard out there on a the kickoff team too, isn't he? It's hard to tell because they got several tall players. Archer Charles won back there along with Gavin Roundtree. Kick. This is Charles, who's going to take it about the eight-yard line. Cuts back, finds a lane, gets out past the 30. Hayes on the return for William Penn. Pretty good return, Charlie. Not bad. Nice field position. Christian Bryce on the stop for the Eagles. First down 10, William Penn. Mm. Bryce on the tackle for the Eagles on the special teams. He does an outstanding job, has been all year. One wide receiver way down here at the bottom. 
Look, you're playing a little man coverage here, Charlie. That's Connor Has. Just spreading things out a little bit. Hand the ball up the middle. Ben Sherman on the carry for William Penn. Ben Sherman with the carry. Mm -hmm. He runs like a Sherman tank too, doesn't he? He does. He is uh, going to pick up almost four on the play, so it'll be second down and six. Don't see if they don't give heights and weights on this. Jim Ray might have that somewhere. He's got. Uh, he's a bowling ball. I'll tell you that much. Back up the middle again, grinding out close to a first down. Sherman again. Six foot, 220, Charlie. It looks like they're signaling first down. Hey, bow, another bowling ball. We get a lot of bowling ball running back. Yeah, two heart. weeks ago when we were here was a bowling ball back there. This guy is a little taller than most bowling balls. Motion, quick pitch to the motion man, cuts in, got the corner, going to turn, get enough for another first down before he's brought down, trying to rip the ball out of there. Tackle by Cameron, excuse me, Tyler, That's Hayes. It's the 44 in Eagle territory. Statesman moving again. 6.35 to go here in quarter number one. 7 nothing Eagles. On a touchdown pass to Hards. Quarterback keeps it. Going to pick up three, maybe four on the play. I hate to see him out in the open. He's got some elusiveness. Nice spin there for a pretty good game, Charlie. Joseph Slattery with the tackle on the play. Gain of three, so second down and seven. Motion again, quick pitch to the motion man. Outside, going to get close to a first down. That's number five, Alex Young. We're not uh, taking care of that edge, Charlie. We're getting they're getting we're getting sealed out there. Yeah. That's why they're picking up good yardage out there. They've run that play both directions and effectively both times. And we've got a stoppage of the clock. Could break in the line, I think. Don't know if this is a water break or what, but William Penn's not leaving the field. Central's getting water. I think it's a chain break. They're putting that back together over ah, there. They are working on the chain crew. Good pickup, Jim Ray. We worked on the chain gang before, see? Working. It's a song, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, working that. And then the miss, missing link, is that uh, what they're looking for? The missing, what, what fell apart? Where's the backup chain? Hopefully we have one. Or we're going to have to fix that one. While they do that, I will tell you a little bit about Community Auto Sales and Service. It's a one-stop shop for all your automotive needs, from brakes, tires, and oil changes, to front-end alignments, engine repair, batteries, and state inspections. They have everything and can do anything to keep you on the road safely. Proud supporter of Eagle Athletics. Uh, or do we have another lightning break? Yep, because everybody's headed to the locker room. With 5.46 to go. So it's going to be at least a half an hour because if there's been lightning within 10 miles of us, they have to stop and they, have to, they can't start up again until there's 30 minutes without a lightning strike within 10 miles. So we will do what we did when we were getting ready to start this. We will go on a quick, go on a break. It won't be a quick one. It'll be a 30-minute break, and then we'll come back. So come back and check on us. Uh, let's see what it is right now. It's 319, so uh, about 345. Come back and check and see how we're, if we're back on and where we're at in it. So Michael Moana, our producer. 
All right, we're back. We're about two minutes or so away from restarting with the Eagles up 7 nothing. There's five minutes and something to go in the first quarter. Official out in the middle of the field waving as if to say, let's get started, which would be just dandy by me. Is that a re-re-restart? It's a re-restart. You okay. are correct. He's trying to get the uh, attention of the press box. He wants to say something. He wants the PA system cut. Michael, Michael, go around the corner and say the official's trying to get their attention. Or he was. So we sent our producer over to see if they'll cut the music and we can get restarted here. The ball's at the 37-yard line. Team you had the ball. I think I can't remember now. I don't remember either. It's either third down and seven. Nope, the scoreboard says third and three, so it's going that way. So, so that's that William Penn has the ball. Big third down play here, Charlie. Nothing like coming out and warming up and stopping and then coming back out and warming up and playing eight or nine minutes and then stopping and coming back out and Playing again. Is the lightning cleared now? I hope so. I don't know how many more of these will be under the lights before too long. My belly's going to be hungry for some yeah. burgers. We're going to have to order out. <laughs> I've been known to eat, Charlie. Not a lot of choices, but there are places around here that will deliver. We might have to get a Casey's Pizza or something, Jim, right? Be fine by me. Great place to eat down in Emmett, so. That's absolutely true. And uh, McNann's right next door to that. Yeah. Just well, Subway's right next door. But one down, great locally owned businesses. Great food. People come from Columbia to eat at both places. And they usually put the games up on screens down there, so you've got people that are down there watching. Drinking a beverage of choice. Have a nice steak and watch a ball game. Well, I'd like to have me some jambalaya or some the Big Easy, Charlie. I go for something I don't normally get at home, and that's a steak. My wife is not a big beef eater, so I'm not bad. I had uh, lunch with my boss out of St. Louis the other day. We met in Fulton, halfway for him, halfway for me, and uh, had a nice ribeye for lunch. It's Rochelle's favorite piece of steak, Rochelle being my wife. Ah, love a ribeye. Got people to say there's too much fat on it, but uh, that's where some of the flavor comes from. Well, fat equals flavor. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm so delicious, Charlie. That's why you are what you are, Jim Ray. <laughs> and I'm sure your wife, if she's listening, will uh, send you a text message here directly and tell that that is true. All right, so we're back. 5.46 to go. Back under. Third down and three. Rodney Hall, the quarterback. Ben Sherman right behind him. That's been the the ticket. Unless they put a wing in motion and go that direction. There goes the wing in motion. Hand off up the middle, and Sherman's got a first down with a lot more to go, and he's down inside the 20, down inside the 30-yard line, down to 25, and that'll be a first down. Gaping hole off that right tackle. William Penn. He He drove a freight train through it. He was across the line of scrimmage before somebody touched him, so... And he's always heading downhill, I'm telling you. He's a load, and that's what they have done in the game we've had caught so far. They've had uh, Sherman up the middle. He's their leading ground gainer, and then they'll run a wing. They split, and that split a receiver out to the top. There goes the wing in motion. Back he goes. Another dive play. Going to pick up some more yardage is Sherman. Just moving that line of scrimmage, making those holes gigantic. Picks up about seven, so it's second down and three. I don't see Daniels out there today. Do you, Charlie? Been looking for him. I haven't seen him. Take a look around on the sideline and see if I can see him sitting down somewhere. I don't see him. Quarterback keeper and going to be tackled for a loss on the play. Going to lose a couple of yards. Washington on the tackle for the Eagles. 
And Chambers. Bring up third down, five. Ball at the 21. Don't see Daniels anywhere, not even on the sideline. Third down and four, motion. Sherman off tackle again. Got enough for another first down inside the 15. We're not sealing that very well there, Charlie. They're just they're knocking big holes. Right tackle, left tackle, down to the 14-yard line. 3.46 to go here in the first quarter. We were just about ready to get started. Had a lightning delay. We got restarted. Played about eight and a half, nine minutes. Another lightning delay, and we just restarted these again. There's Sherman again up the middle, and he's going to fall inside the five. Got a player down on the field for the Eagles. Be first and goal. They're gashing him right now, Charlie. Getting big yardage. Make some adjustments during that long break. A little thin on defensive linemen anyway, Charlie. And that's who's down. That's what's down as a defensive lineman. I talked to Coach uh, Callaway this week. There's a little thin there. Got some injuries. It's big number 92 there for the Eagles. Richard McKinney's. I believe that's right. Seems like he got up on his own accord, so he's in fine shape, I hope. So it's first and goal from about the four-yard line. Whistle blows to get him back out. And here comes William Penn looking to tie this up with 3.20 to go here in the first period. Need it's a turn. Been, Sorry, excuse me, Charlie. Go ahead. So we need a turnover down here. It's been all Sherman right now since we've come back. And I called the fumble, but uh, didn't quite get it, but we had a fumble. We had a fumble and lost some yardage as Hall, the quarterback, falls on it. Back out at the eight-yard line, so second and goal. It's a big play there by the Eagles. You know you're going to get two more. More than likely, you're going to get two more runs, maybe, maybe three more runs. They may kick a field goal. Two runs. It's second down. May kick a field goal. I don't know. There's that pitch. Wide open. Not sealing it. And I think he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And he is. Couldn't see it from here, Charlie. He was close. They call it a touchdown, and it's number 23. That's Connor Hayes. Freshman running back from Paola, Kansas. Good distance from Iowa, isn't it? It is. And this will bring in the Ethan Olivas for the extra point. 16, number 16. He is 15 of 16 on the season. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. Good, and we're tied at 7 with 224 to go. AirLink Rural Broadband is your local wireless and fiber internet provider, family-owned and operated with coverage options in Sheraton, Howard, Saline, and surrounding counties. Interested in wireless or fiber service? Visit us at airlink123.com for information on all your internet needs. They made that look easy, Charlie. Just right down the field, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. Uh, third and three, first down, then a couple more first downs, and then... Uh, Fumble snap, recovered, and take it into the end zone off of that wing motion. Yeah, that pitch, they've been stopped all day. That's the fourth, third or fourth time they've run it, and it's gotten eight to ten yards each time. At least. Bame to kick off. Clark and Schroeder deep. This one's going to come to Clark, about the nine-yard line. Head of steam, tackled out across the 25. Looked like he had a little opening up that middle. Looked like he cut out and stood up. 
tackle by Tremon Lias. Sophomore out of Chicago. So both sides with interstate flavor. Lots of -of out-of-state kids. De Laurent. Keeley behind him as the back. That's hards in motion. Resets to the right side. And the Eagles are going to run the ball. He runs hard, that Keeley does. He does. And he always seems to fall forward for an extra yard or so. He picks up. So it wasn't Keeley? I thought it was. Gain of six, second down and four. Looking for that number, Charlie, but I'm not getting it. I don't see it either. We'll see it after this play. De Laurent with the keeper around the other side. Going to pick up enough for a first down. I'll give you the number of the running back here in just a second. That would be number 40 out there, and that's Kion Bass is what it says. It says he's a tight end, but he's in the backfield. If you're reading that 40 right, you can't tell anymore. It's hard numbers to read. De Laurent under pressure, gets away from it, looks downfield, heaves the ball, quacks, and it's broken up, and a flag comes flying in. Yeah. Donovan Corbett with the coverage. It's going to be a P.I. I believe it would be on William Penn, Charlie. It will, and that's to be uh, 15 yards. Referee's not moving very far. He's still way back here. Press interference on the defense from 27. 15-yard penalty on that first down. So it'll go from the 37 uh, to about the 48 on the other side. Good math, Charlie. Yeah, well, let's see. 37, 48 makes 15, doesn't it? Doesn't it does up. in my book, but let's see where they end up walking it off to. See, they're going further than we said. They're down to the 46. Well, it definitely wasn't at the 37. That's all right. Ball's in William Penn territory with 110 to go here in the first period. We've had a couple of lightning delays. Have slowed things down considerably. Busting through for a first down. That was a huge push there. Say Ogden, Charlie. Yeah, I thought it was six, but that doesn't. That's not right. Looking with my binoculars to try and figure out who it is. Regardless, got the ball again. Not as much success this time. Picks up a couple of yards going forward. Aldridge on the carry this time, Charlie. That's what they said. Aldridge, I'm looking for that on my sheet. It looks like a six to me. Maybe they got multiple numbers. Because that's Henley on defense. Second and seven. And there's the end of the first quarter. So we'll take a quick break. Take a 30-second break and come back on the Eagle Sports Network on the Heart of America Conference Game of the Week. At last, an approach to teaching and learning that connects the traditional classroom to the real world at Central Methodist University. Now you can learn the way you live and the way you'll work with the new Digital U, available only on the campus of CMU. Be more. First quarter in the books, tied at seven. Eagles on the march. They have the ball at the 32-yard line. 
be second down and seven. As Terrell Aldridge has been the ball carrier the last couple of times. He and Keeley. Keeley's lined up as a uh, tight end right now. As the Eagles have gone away from their four or five wide. Delarant. With Aldridge next to him. Hand off right up the middle. Bust through. Bust another tackle. Down inside the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Carvel Jameson. Be first and 10. Aldridge. At about the 13. Aldridge out of Houston, Texas. He hadn't been used much. I don't think we've seen him in a ball game yet at this point, but he is a senior. He looks good. He's had three nice runs. First and 10 from the 13, 14.33 to go here in period number two. Going strong left. Run goes up the middle. Doesn't get anywhere. Didn't get much of a push here on the offensive line. Been doing a pretty good job all day. Rogan Forts. From Iowa, line the sophomore linebacker. It's two and a two hour and eleven minute first quarter, Charlie. Yeah, that uh, takes a long time. You'd think the score would be more than seven seven. Gain of one, second and nine from the twelve. Keeley to the right of Delarant. Three ride receivers to the left. Looks that way, rolls that way. Pulls it down and gets inside the five-yard line. He had a lot of room there. He kept looking at the guys shaking loose in there in the back because they were on ad lib right then. And But he ended up, if he had tucked that earlier, I believe he got more yardage. Yeah, he kept trying to free up a receiver, and the, the defensive players, the backs, stayed with the receiver, so he faked the throw and just got what he could, which is down to the four-yard line, and it's third and goal from the four. I think it's third and one, Charlie. It is third and one. I thought it was third and goal, but it's third and one from the four. Yeah, they were at 13. That's correct. My mistake. Trying to go wide, pushing inside. And he's got the first down, short of the touchdown, down to about the one. Nice run there. Nice push there by the offensive line. Pick up that two yards in there. Needed one, got more than that. And Aldridge comes off limping. He got Brandon Bolton in there, another kid from Texas. Spinning but losing a yard on the play. Be second and goal from the two. He's a junior out of Houston, Texas. Got wide receivers on the way in. I have not seen Taylor all day either. I was just looking around for that. I don't know that I've seen him on the field. That's our big play receiver. Donald Clark is out there. Keeley. Ten on the play clock. Plenty of time. Motion. Going to run it himself. Leans in. Gets the touchdown. Two-yard touchdown run for Delarant. They sealed that edge pretty well that time and gave him enough. He just kind of reached across there, Charlie, and put that in. Yeah, he was going to be down, and he reached the ball out and hit the pylon with it, and that's all it takes is to break the plane, and that does break the plane. So it's 13-7. And Petron in for the extra point. 11.43 to go. Quarter number two. Featuring 18, 19 of 20 now on the season. Make it 20 of 21 on extra points. So 14 7. Nice drive there by the Eagles. Tremendous. That's the way to answer that score by William Penn. Exactly. Come back and put the points back up on the board and get your lead back. 
big pivotal game here for the Eagles too. I mean, took it, took it, uh, lost a tough one last week to cover Stockton, whose receiving votes might be ranked in the top ten, excuse me, top twenty-five. But they played tough all year long, and they beat them right there at the end. Got a couple scores ahead, and then Delarant brought them back with some uh, passing touchdowns. But uh, lost by eight and had a chance to win that game, Charlie. Yep. And so they're three and two. So this would make them four and two, and and would be probably a nice propellant to a really good season. Dropping it and going down to three and three, and they're back in the uh, scramble in the middle of the pack again. Play Benedictine next week, or is it two weeks? Two next weeks. Next week is a week off for the heart. Correct. That's right. Kick and it goes. Nope, doesn't make it into the end zone. It is out of bounds inside the five, so it'll come out to the 35-yard line. High school, you have the option of taking the ball where it goes out. Is that correct, Charlie? Yeah, if it's beyond the 35, or you can have it at the 35, or the 35, yes. So many yards from where they kicked off. Yeah, if you try an onside kick and you kick it out of bounds, you can decline the penalty and take the ball. Correct. That's what I meant. Didn't come out that way. I just wondered. It did come out that way. I understood it completely, Jim. That's because you've been around me enough you understand <laughs> clucking knees. Hall at quarterback, fakes the toss, comes out here, left-hander, dumps it across the middle. It's caught. The reason that happens, Charlie, is they're, they're setting up with Nine people in the box, basically. Yep, that was to Luke Masters. Enough for a first down. It's into the Eagle territory at the 41. So we're going back and forth in a hurry. Still got 11-15 to go here in quarter number two before halftime. Been a pretty clean game. No penalties very much. Had a P.I. That's about it. All sides, illegal procedure, something like that, too. But that's about it. Hall. Sherman up the middle. They're just pounding the middle of the field and just wearing out the Eagles right up the middle from in between the tackles. Had a foot problem there. Blew a blew a a shoe there. Threw a wheel. Threw, threw a tire. A yeah, that's what I was trying to say. William Penn right back on the march. First and 10, just outside the 23-yard line. Motion. Sherman up the middle again. Miles slowed him down. Hernandez and Mays on the tackle. And still a gain of four on the play, or three on the play. Miles is trying to grab that ball, Charlie. Thought he had a hold of it there for a second, but not didn't happen that way. So second down and seven from the 19. And late hand off to Sherman, and he's down inside the 10 for a first down. It'll be first and goal. He's low. They're wearing him out up front. He averages 108 yards plus per ball game rushing, and he's going to have close to that number by halftime. I think it played, what, two passes the whole time? Three yards in a cloud of dust, but they're more like getting eight yards in a cloud of yeah, dust. It's, now. Uh, it's eight or ten yards in a cloud. Nothing fancy. It's what they do. Rodney Hall, the quarterback. Sherman right behind him. Up the middle, not going to get a whole lot this time as the pile. London Chambers on the tackle. Make it second down and goal from about the eight-yard line or at the six-yard line. I think we'll see that uh, toss. That's what I'd go to, the wide side of the field. 21 on this side. That's Archer Charles. He's gotten it a couple of times off of that play. Sherman up the middle, and he's going to bull his way into the end zone for a touchdown. They did it the hard way, Charlie. It's wide open on the outside, too. Six yards up the middle for a touchdown. Makes it 14-13 with the extra point on the way. Olivas will come out. He's 16 of 17 on the year. 
Look like heavyweight title bout here. Punch, 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 and counter, counter, counter. Take that one and give one of your own. Don't leave us. Drills it. Ties the game up at 14. 8.27 to go in the second quarter. Eagles are going to have to figure out how to uh, shore up their interior defense. They're getting gashed, to say the least. Between the tackles. And then when they close that off, they get... Go that pitch sweep play. Yep, toss, however you want to call it. Yep. They're really not pulling anybody on that either. It's just a plain old toss out there. They're not running the buck sweep where they're pulling both guards. I really haven't seen anybody pull it. Doing really, nice they, job they've been it. running the ball between the guards. Not, the not necessarily the tackles. It's been right up the middle. Been run off tackle there a few times, too. Schroeder and Ka- Ka- Kaiwan Collins back at the five-yard line. Trapper Bain to kick off. He's the punter, also the kickoff man. Left footer. Bounces around, finally picked up. That was either a lack of communication or was just hoping it was going to go in the end zone because it bounced two or three times before Collins picked it up. I think he thought it was going to go in the end zone. This turf, it'll check up on this turf, kind of like a golf shot on that nice soft green. Terrible field position for the Eagles. Ball on the 12-yard line as we just go back and forth. Worst field position of the night for the afternoon for the Eagles. De Laurent in the shotgun. Keeley with the run. Not much there. I think I have to get outside here to get any to get any out of the shadows of their goal post. Better a pass. Dangerous to pass down here. It is. It's only a gain of one, so second down and nine. Seven fifty seven to go here in quarter number two. We'll have the marching eagles and the dance team on at halftime. Empty backfield for Delarant now. A lot of rush. Quick pass up the middle. Going to get it out to about the 20-yard line. A little breathing room. Palacios with the reception. We'll make it third down and a long two, short three, depending on how you look at it. This would be a, a big play because you're going to have to punt from deep if you don't pick it up here. Look for a little hitch here, a little hitch pattern. Hands it off, not going to get anywhere. There's no hole opened up. We're going to lose a yard. And it's going to be fourth down. Eagles will have to punt the ball, I would think. And yeah, there's not much choice here. Lost a yard on that play. I don't know if I like that play call, Charlie. Well, there wasn't any hole available anywhere. Masters stands back around the 43-yard line in his territory. Petron, 38-yard average. His long on the season is 70. Could use one of those right now. That would be nice. They got to return on. Gets it away. Spinning kick. Going to bounce. Roll. And pick up about 15 extra yards as we've got all kinds of extracurricular activity behind the play. But it's finally down to about the 36-yard line. 34-yard line, excuse me. I was looking back. About a 56-yard punt, wasn't it, Charlie? Yeah, 31 and uh, 11 should be. And 16 should be about a 56, 57-yarder after the roll was all done. That'll help his average a little bit. Well, on the day. So let's see if the Eagles can figure out how to stop Sherman in this 
running attack of the Statesman. Rolled up five in the box there. I mean, it's going to be eight in the box or nine. Hand off to Sherman. He's not going to pick up but about a yard this time. Just checking to see if they were putting less people in the box. But, heck, they had nine people in the box that time. Box Mitchell being stopping the clock for some reason. I don't see any flags anywhere. So he has to put 6.05 on the clock instead of 5.56. Haven't done that yet. Now they do. Gain of one, second and nine. Everybody playing inside the tackle box right now except one receiver and one defender. And Sherman you, knocks off a couple of tacklers. That's what shouldn't happen. You play, you commit that many people to the box, they shouldn't be able to do that offensively. It means that offensive line is doing a heck of a job for the William Penn Statesman. He picks up about eight on the play, seven maybe, and it's third down and one. From right at the 43-yard line in Statesman territory. One wide receiver to the bottom. Everybody else in the box. Handoff. It'll be enough for a first down and then some. Is he going to pick up about four? Miles on the tackle for the Eagles. Davion Stockard checks in. It looks like they're going to go for a little more beef. They could take out defensive backs, Jim Ray, and put more <laughs> linebackers and linemen in. There's only one wide receiver on the field. You saw the potential there at the tight ends. Basically no, they're going to split tight. two out now, one to the top and one to the bottom. So you still got nine people in the box. He's going to throw. No, he's not going to throw. He's going to go down. He thought about trying to get rid of it as he was falling on his backside. You kind of wish he would thrown that. Yeah. And Stockard, who just checks in, gets credit for the sack. Nice job by the defensive coordinator, Marty Stewart. Yeah. Interesting call. You're just getting seven, eight yards a shot at running the ball, and you tried to throw it and pick up a uh, eight-yard sack loss. You know, if something's not broke, why do you try to fix it? I don't know why you would give anybody any time to do that. Because I don't think they throw the ball that well. I'm sure they're trying to catch him off guard. I mean, they're loaded in the box, there's no question. But they've been running against that box all day. Going to try and throw it again. Here comes more pressure. Gets out of it. Throws. Caught. Gets away and headed to the end zone. Not going to be tackled, and it's going to go for a touchdown, and that'll be a 62-yard catch and run. Gavin Roundtree with that. That is his second touchdown catch of the season. And we had him in the backfield. Had him, and he spun out of it, reversed his field, got it down, and now the Eagles trail for the first time in the ball game at 20-14. to 14. Yeah, it was just a little, little pattern out there to the right, and he... He dodged that tackler and threw it down and threw a strike, threw a good pass. Good coverage, too, by the way. Yeah, defender went for the knockdown and still tried to hold on and make the tackle, spun out of it, broke another tackle on the way there, and into the end zone he went. Scampered in. Olivas. Knuckleball. Good. 21-14 in favor of William Penn. I've looked the sidelines. I do not see Catavius Taylor anywhere or Marquez Daniels anywhere. Question I'll have for Coach Callaway on next week sometime, both they're hurt or what. Taylor on the season, 19 receptions, 416 yards. That's an average of 21.9 per catch and seven touchdowns. He's an All-American at least twice, if not three times. So Clark and Schroeder go back. Schroeder at the top of your picture. Clark at the bottom. Trapper Bame. Dad must have been an outdoorsman. Sounds like it. Left footer. Gets it away. Coming to Clark. About the seven-yard line. 
Accelerates, now cuts left. Got a little room on the outside, gets out of bounds. Good field position this time. Out at the 33. He handled that a lot better this time instead of letting it bounce. Thinking of going to go in the end zone, he just caught it and, and headed up that left sideline. So let's see if Central has an answer now. It's at the 33. Manny Langwall looks like he's the back end. Three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. Quick look out of the backfield. Another drop pass. We had two of those to start the ball game. He, had, well, he, he could have picked up another five or ten yards, too. Well, it's Bolton, the ball carrier, the receiver. Coach J- Jacoby will be having gray hair, and he's a young age. People drop passes like that, and Coach Callaway's already rubbed all his off. Keeley comes into the ball game. Sets up a tight end position on the left-hand side, second and ten. Comes a blitz. Not much of a gain there. Bolton on the carry for the Eagles. Bolton again, the ball carrier. Picks up a yard and a half. We'll call it two and make it third down and eight. Eagles need a first down. 326 to go here in the second period, and the Statesman has scored the last two times they've touched the ball. And been pretty uh, been pretty easy too. Yeah, pretty efficient, just running the ball right down the field. So Delarant. Hards to the wide end down here on the bottom. Only rushing two. Underneath. Caught but stopped short of a first down. Cooper Wilson, but we've got uh, whistles blowing. Timeout called by William Penn. They'll put a couple of seconds back on the clock, perhaps. 2.48 now. Timeout. Please put 2.54 on the game. 2.54, so I'll put six seconds back up. We thought I saw a flag, but I, didn't, I guess there wasn't, was there, Charlie? I didn't. They just, I think they were calling timeout, and that's what the whistle was for, and they didn't stop the clock soon enough. Somebody in the stands just yell, we want number two. That's Catavius Taylor, but I'm not sure where he is. I'm looking for people in the street clothes with but no jersey on, so I can't tell you. There's a guy jumping down there with a coat on and, and, and fairly tall fella. Hard to say, but we haven't seen him yet, and we don't see him in... Uh, Uniform on the sideline anywhere. See they wear their jersey. We have do have one person in a, in a sweat uh, sweat top and a coat yeah. hoodie, I should say. Scoreboard says fourth and two. It looks like fourth and four, and the Eagles are in a hurry to punt. They're going to line up and go for it. Shouldn't be stopping that clock. We should be going. Eagles are going for it. Or and now another timeout call by William Penn. If nothing else, that used up their second timeout. That only leaves them one more. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see them now punt the ball. One thing about it, if they try to run it and they don't have much time left, they've only got one timeout left. Yep. Well, the punt teams out there are with the offense, all huddled up together, getting the decision as to what to do. It was... It's fourth down and four. Unless you try and draw them offside. Pick up a first down with a penalty. Could do that on a hard count. Or you line up Delarant in the shotgun and he quick kicks with nobody back and hope for a roll. Will they practice that or not in practice? Scoreboard still has three timeouts up for, but they've used two here. They we stopped it after the third down play, and then they called it as the offense came back out, and the offense is back out there again. 
I'm a little surprised by this, Charlie. Riverboat Gambler, Coach Callaway is. David's betting on that. Uh, Let's see if he tries to draw him offside. 19 on your play clock. Keep that in mind as Delarant marks signals. That's all they're trying to do is draw him offside. He keeps looking to the sideline, and here's a timeout call with six on the play clock. And now we'll get the punt team. So that's three timeouts without a play being run. <laughs> True. And yeah, they may come out with their offense again and see if they can bleed any more out of this. Interesting. I've not seen it done quite like this before. Petron's coming out this time out of this huddle, so it's a punt situation now. CMU could call a timeout. <laughs> could still try and draw them offside somehow. Yep. Good fake it, but none of the uh, up backs blocking in front of the punter is uh, any kind of an offensive ball carrier. It doesn't look like it to me, Charlie. It looked like they might be on the all-weight team. Yeah. And that's not W-A-I-T. They're, they're uh, pretty big bodies, so I don't think you're going to see the snap go to any one of them. And the snap's back. Great snap by Connor Layton. Petron just hangs on to it, lets his – Cover team get back there, and a fair ca- catch is called for and taken. Great punt by Petrin. He waited uh, because there was no rush on him. He waited for his, def- his punt coverage team to get down the field, and 2.45 to go, and let's see if they can stop the Statesman now. Ball at the 16-yard line, 17-yard line. That was a, almost like that looked like one of Delaron's passes. It was turned over so well. A nice spiral. Uh, it did have a nice spiral to it. So let's see how the Statesmen want to do this. 245 and one timeout left. Remember, they're three yards in a cloud of dust most of the time. Yeah, that's not going to work this time. They're going to have to go longer than that, but that's exactly what they do. He runs. That's Sherman out across the 25. Going to be about a yard or so short. They mark him at the 15, so he's two yards short. This must, must be aware of a play-action pass, which they got to be aware of. Clock continues to run to 22 to go here in this first half. Hall. Sherman again. Picks up the first down. Clock will stop while they reset. Henley on the tackle for the Eagles. And they need to stop the clock. So they're going to put six seconds back on and start the clock when the 204 is what they say. And it's not up there yet. There we go. 204. And now the official starts the clock. Sherman again up the middle. This time not going to get too far. Sherman on the carry. Officials come in and had a little extracurricular out there. Miles gets up off the pile. Gain of two on the play at second and eight. 134 and counting. Still loading that box up, Charlie. Another handoff. Tighten things up here. Mexicano on the tackle. So third down and six. Ball to 35. Ball to 35. We're at 109 and counting. See See if the Eagles call timeout after this if they don't pick up a first down or get close to it. They've got two timeouts left. Going to pass. Flushed out of there. Throws, and it's out of bounds. Intended for Roundtree. 
incomplete. Fourth down. Don't have to use a timeout. 47.4 to go. Well, Larry defending on that pass, tried to make a one-handed interception. Couldn't get her done. I actually, it looked like he might have been trying to tip it back into the field to play. Which, I, don't know, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, Charlie. Well, the closest player to it is in a white uniform, so I don't think it was a very good idea. I didn't like that idea at all. Bame back to punt. Gets it away. Doesn't turn over. But it's going to take a big hop and roll and use up some more time and go out of bounds with 38 and a half to go. And it goes out at the 23-yard line. One thing we don't need here is an interception. I throw that ball deep. They don't have their, their game breaker. It doesn't look like today. Big wide receiver, Catavius Taylor. Yeah, somebody's going to pick up the slack a little bit. And if I remember correctly, it was a long time ago, I think uh, Central got the ball to start the game. That is, <laughs> it was a long time ago. So we're going to start the second half with William Penn getting the ball, and they've got a seven-point lead as of right now. We could uh, tie it up here before the end of this game, Charlie. Your glass half full or half empty. I'm okay with uh, the bomb. Delarant throws it behind Hards. Delarant throwing it out. Harden run. Hards running it up. So it's second down. Only used two seconds. Don't be too crazy with this either. How much time is left, Charlie? Thirty-six point one. Another incomplete pass, and then they can stop the clock with the timeout, the one they have left, and get the ball back. Might see Central run the ball here. I would think a quarterback draw or something, since there's no backs in there, might be appropriate. Throws it across the middle, behind, but a nice adjustment and catch. We'll stop the clock momentarily. Cooper Wilson with the catch. They start the clock. De Laurent looks. He's going to come out, just throw it away. He does, and he throws it down the field, and it's caught for another first down. Clock doesn't stop. It's still running. It's still running, and they finally stop it, and they'll have to put some time back on it. That gives Central a chance to get a play call out on the field. So we're going to end up with 12 or 13 seconds put on this clock when they reset it. Get the play in there, guys. Let's go. Yeah, get to the line because he's going he's gonna to whistle it going as soon as he tells the clock operator what to do. Get to play. Let's go. Okay, so they still got one left while they decide how much time's on the clock. I was wondering why he wasn't getting a play in there. Now it makes sense. But so while they while they discuss it, I would say there's when I looked up, I thought there was about 13 seconds when he was tackled and it should have stopped. Because I said it two or three times about it still hasn't stopped, still hasn't stopped. So they have one timeout, so they can still throw the ball across the middle one more time. Try and get in position for Petrin to kick a field goal. He is two for three on that, as long as 37. So at that rate, you got to get the ball down to the 20, and it's sitting on the 43 right now. Good math, Charlie. Of course, if you get it down to the 20 on this play, you might want to take another take a shot at the end zone, depending on what they put up time-wise, because you do have a timeout. Coach Cowley didn't look too happy. I don't think he's going to get any time put back on her. He's trying to argue his case, but I don't think it's going to do it to no avail. Well. Should have given out at least four or five seconds. I would think so. There you go. You got three. He got three seconds. Yep, went from 8.4 to 11. And we think it was about 13, so he got uh-huh. gypped out a couple seconds. Barely got time because if he catches the ball and runs in, it'll be over. Yep, if you're going to catch it over the middle, you better get down in a hurry or get yeah get down. So it's at least, if it's a first down, stop it. If not a timeout, stop it. Or go for the end zone. Throw the ball deep. You got three on the top, two on the bottom. Not much rush. Delarant's going to roll left and look. And he's going to have to hurry and get out of bounds, and he does with 3.6 to go. 
It'll be a first down, but one more play barring a defensive penalty, and we'll be at halftime. So your central, you might as well call a timeout and figure out what your play is going to be because you got plenty of time. you got one timeout you can't take to the locker room with you, and they do call a timeout. Yeah, because it's not going to be any good. So no. are you going to throw a jump ball to Hards at 6-7? Why not, Charlie? I like it. <laughs> I like the way you'd think. I uh, smell what you're stepping in. Well, you know, throw it in his general direction and let him go up and tip it to somebody else if he can't ta- catch it. Have a couple of receivers around him in the end zone. It's not a big long hail mary, so you got plenty of time to get guys down there. The thing about it, I would have him as being the tipper and have somebody off to. Yeah, the- correct. Yes, try and get it if, if he can't catch it. Tip it to one side or the other where you know you got a teammate and see if they can catch it. I don't know if they practice that play or not, but I'd have. If you're down there using a the huddle, just have somebody stay outside the, the scrum of we'll call it down there in the goal. Uh, yeah, well, the you got to tell you got to tell you who you're going to throw it to, where they're supposed to go, Correct. and then you got to just surround wherever they go with some other people and hope for the best. Hope for a pass interference or a tip catch or just a straight up catch. Do it like you do a jump ball in basketball. You can, you know have somebody sitting on both sides there where it's easiest to you get need a, to. You need a Torrance Marshall or somebody with a 42-inch vertical jump at this point. How about Jason Brookins? That would be another one. Hards far side outside. A little more pressure. De Laurent pulls it down, resets, throws the ball towards the end zone. Tipped. Touchdown. The players are saying touchdown, but the official says out of the end zone. Oh, wow. And that'll end the half. Looking to see who's pleading their case down there that had the football in his hands. Taylor Rod was the quarterback pleading their case. Yeah. Is that my buddy, the umpire, make that call? I don't know. It's either 19 or 10, so it's either Cooper Wilson or Cole Schrader who thought he had it and came down inbounds, but that is halftime. So we're going to turn it over to the band, let you see the band, the dance team, the cheerleaders, and all of that under the band under the direction of Skip Vandelict and Steve Litweiler. And then we'll be back. After that, we'll probably run a couple of minutes worth of ads, gather some stats, and come back with halftime report here on the Eagle Sports Network, the Heart of America Conference. of Skip Vandelicht and the field command of senior drum major Madeline Bartholomew. Central Methodist University proudly presents the Sound of Central, the 2021 CMU Marching Eagle Band.
Sound of Central started this afternoon's halftime show with a fiery Spanish opener entitled La Zora. To continue our halftime show this afternoon, the band would like to feature their color guard, who's under the direction of Karen Jeffries. Today, the color guard brings us a routine to a tune from the 101 Dalmatians movie. Here is the color guard, The Sound of Central, and Cruella de Vil. Close this afternoon's halftime show, The Sound of Central. We would like to bring you a ballad from the movie West Side Story, fe featuring Alden Senor on mellophone. Here is Somewhere.
gentlemen, the 2021 Sound of Central. The Sound of Central is under the direction of Professor Steve Vanderick, the assistant to Professor Steve Redweiler, and Karen Shepard. Thank you so much for your attention and applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the CMU Eagles NBA Dance Team, led by head coach Pat Bond. Last, an approach to teaching and learning that connects the traditional classroom to the real world at Central Methodist University. Now you can learn the way you live and the way you'll work with the new Digital U, available only on the campus of CMU. Be more. How do you make traditional education more effective for today's job market? You transform it at Central Methodist University. Now the only limit to your education is your imagination. The new Digital U, available only on the campus of CMU. Be more. It's Digital U. Contact us today. CMU. Be more. At last, an approach to teaching and learning that connects the traditional classroom to the real world at Central Methodist University. Now you can learn the way you live and the way you'll work with the new Digital U, available only on the campus of CMU. Be more. How do you make traditional education more effective for today's job market? You transform it at Central Methodist University. Now the only limit to your education is your imagination. The new Digital U, 
Available only on the campus of CMU. Be more. We're back. It's halftime. 21-14. William Penn over the Eagles. We've got stats for you. Give you a quick scoring summary, and then Jim Ray's going to tell you what jumps out at him off the stat sheet. 8-11 to go in the first per quarter. Paxton Delarant. 30-yard touchdown pass to Trayvon Hards. Extra point was good. 7-0 Central. Rodney Hall pass complete to Connor Hayes. 7-yard touchdown. Catch, and the extra point made it 7-7. Delarant rushes, runs in for two yards out for a touchdown. Extra point, 14-7 Central. And then from that point forward, it was almost all William Penn. Ben Sherman runs six yards for a touchdown at 8.29 to go in the second quarter. Extra point makes it 14-14. Then with four minutes to go, Rodney Hall, 62-yard pass play to Gavin Roundtree. Extra point makes it 21-14. That's where we're at here at halftime. And uh, Jim Ray's had a chance to look at stats. What do you see, Jim? Well, the biggest thing, of course, is when Penn's winning 21-14. The next biggest thing is they're on, on third down conversions. They're hitting at 67%, where Central Methods is hitting at 40%. That's a big difference in the game there in that respect. Passing yardage, they're 93 for William Penn, 126 for the, for the Eagles. He's 3 out of 5, William Penn's quarterback. CMU's is 8 out of 15, 8 completions, 15 attempts. For offense, you know, 34 plays for 235 yards. CMU, 32 plays for 202 yards. So they're, where they're beating us right now is in the third down conversions. And that's been the biggest difference in the ball game. Been a clean game, not any penalties per se. We've had, we've had one for, excuse me, William Penn's had one for 17, the PI, and we haven't had any. So possession time, just about even. William Penn leading there a little bit, 16-31 to 13-29. So rushing yards, yes, they're doing better than us. 142 yards to our 76. So that's kind of the biggest. We're about tat for tat there, rushing and passing yards. But the, the third down efficiency by William Penn is what's beating us right now. And a lot of that third down comes from Ben Sherman. He's carried the ball 21 times for 124 yards in the first half. He averages just over 108 for a game, and he's got 124 in the first half. Uh, a little bit deceiving on that uh, 8 of 15 for Delarant passing the ball as he had three drops. So if you throw those in, that's 11 of 15, and that's a pretty good number. So Eagles are going to have to find a way to stop Sherman and the running game. He's averaging almost six yards a carry. And they're just they're between the tackles. They're inside yards all the way, all the way through. So halftime stats. We're down to a minute and something, so we'll be ready to start the second half here in just a moment. And with that, it will be William Penn receiving the kickoff to start the second half. Eagles have got to find a way to stop them and get back even. And then uh, stop again and get the lead. They had the lead at 7. They had the lead at 14-7. And then William Penn gets two touchdowns late in the second quarter. And they have a 21-14 advantage. Play at the end of the half there where we caught the ball. They say he's out of bounds. I guess he was. Uh, That hurt a lot because that was a heck of a catch down there. Yeah, that would have been a touchdown. And that would have... uh, Gotten it to 21-20 and probably tied the game up, but it was ruled that the uh, off the deflection, the Eagle with the ball, whether it was Schroeder or whether it was Wilson, was ruled out of the back of the end zone, out of bounds. What so the Eagles take the field to, put, to kick off. What's well, been a cloudy day, not a lot of rain, but we've had two lightning stoppages. First one lasted about 40 minutes. The second one lasted just over a half an hour. So we should be at the point where we're in the fourth quarter of the ball game and we're getting ready to kick off for the third quarter. Two years ago, we had a rain delay, lightning delay. In fact, they ended up postponing the game, didn't postpone it. But it was a draw up in William Penn, if you remember, right? I do, and that was a uh, that was a big blow because that's a game that Central thought they had a chance to win, and it really wasn't stopped until William Penn scored, and then it was stopped. Correct. Kick high, coming down at the 10-yard line. And flag comes from the 
side official over here. And I don't know what that's all about because there's not a player within 20 yards of where he threw the flag. As you're saying there on the field, might get a sideline warning out of this. That's the only thing I would think it would be. I think that was Archer Charles with the return. And they pick the flag up and throw it back around the 25-yard line. And he was tackled around the 25. The flags are now at the 30, so it'll be half the distance. It'll be 10 yards back to the 15. Yeah, blocking the back, wouldn't it, Charlie? That's what they said it was. I bet from where he was, there wasn't anybody over there. But We saw something. I like those kind of see, they, seeing things. So Rodney Hall out. Three of five passing in the first half. Sacked a couple of times. Ben Sherman, that's number 43 in the backfield. He's got all the yards, and let's see what adjustments the Eagles made. And there he goes through the hole, opening again, and he's got enough for another first down. He's sealing it right off there, man. Chambers on the tackle for the Eagles. That was a hard pop at the end of that. He is a load. He's like a Sherman tank, like I referred to before. So he had 21 carries for 124 yards. Picks up 11 there. Looks like a busted play. Quarterback rolls out of there and picks up something off of it. Darian Bell on the tackle. Young man from Texas. Having to help personally recruit him. That's why... I know the name. Gain of four, but what looked like a busted play that he looked for somebody to hand it off to, and there wasn't anybody there, so he made the best of it that he could. Second down and six. In the edge, he's been very susceptible too, Charlie. Well, when you stack everybody inside, and we've seen that little toss play, and there it is again. There's the right back up the middle, Sherman again, and he's going to pick up another six or seven yards. They're just weed, reading that defensive end. If he goes out, they're just cutting the ball up inside there. It ain't much of a cut. It's usually just straight ahead. Sherman's on his way to a 200-plus yard rushing day. They are wearing this clock out, too, by doing it this way. Yeah, they've had the ball for three plays so far, and we're at 13.30 to go. The lead, run the ball, run the clock. There's the pitch play again. Hit in the backfield, gets away from that, but can't get any further than that. That is... That was Mays on the original hit, Charlie. Yeah, he played, came up on that in a hurry. That was Archer Charles trying to get something. He picked, loses two on the play. It'll be second down and 12. So we'll be back to Sherman again on the uh, play up the middle. I know if I was a, a offensive coordinator, I'd be caught trying to halfback pass now to see if uh, Mays would bite that quick. On a back, you know, on a coming off pass. that little toss play. Yes, half back pass. Is what I'm talking about. Yep. Back to pass, quick pass out. Caught by the wide receiver, breaks a tackle up the field. He goes, fumble. And who's going to come up with it? I think it's going to be. They say that it's recovered by William Penn, I guess. Johnson, D.J. Johnson the catching the ball, and the ball recovered all the way up to the 45-yard line in Eagle territory. Got to take those opportunities. When that ball's on the ground, we need to get on it. Yeah, we need a turnover. We need to turn this in the other direction. Mo is we, get down, we get down two scores to this running offense is going to be tough for us. Moe's on William Penn's back. Statesman's got it all. There's a handoff. Sherman struggles but gets nowhere. First times, one of the few times, we stopped him with no gain. Will Miles on the tackle, Charlie. Second down and 10. Rodney Hall, quarterback. Four of six now in the ball game, passing. They average about eight passes a game, so they're about to their max that they're going to do. And with the lead and the way they're running the ball, I'm going to guess they're going to continue that. That doesn't look like Sherman in the backfield, though. Nope, smaller version of it is. 
Pitch to the outside. This is Charles. Gets a block on the corner and knocked out of bounds inside the 35, down at the 33, and that's enough for another first down. We just can't get that sealed. We're having trouble up the middle, so we try to take care of that, and then boom, they just go out around us. They got the recipe cooking. That was Keegan Simmons that was in the backfield, and now back in is Sherman. Probably had a little equipment problem or needed a break. Quick break. Slug down some water. Motion. Dribbled it on the ground, picked up, tackled for a loss. Mexicano on the stop for the Eagles on that uh, busted play. That's a loss of eight on the play, so second down and 18. So see if they want to try and bust Sherman off tackle again or whether they're going to throw the ball. That was supposed to be a pitch, I believe, and was mishandled. Right from Jump Street. Hall keeps it. The bunch back. Gets a lot of it back. Lost all the lost yardage is back, plus about uh, three or four more. See where they end up spotting it. The player down on the field for the Eagles, so time is called. Tell you what, this statesman team is just wears you out. Yeah, it makes you wonder how they're one and four. I told you that before the game started that this is a pretty good one and four team. They're going to mark it at the 31. So it's going to be third down and seven. Working on the leg. Hopefully it is nothing serious as that is Kari Henley. Well, they're better defensive backs. Walks off gingerly on his right side. He probably took a helmet to the leg there, to the thigh area or down in the calf. Hopefully not the knee. Third and seven. Statesman in two uh, fourth down territory if they want to go off of after this one. If they don't make it here on third down. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't, Charlie. Gavin Roundtree got a touchdown catch. Bottom of your screen. Motion. Sherman back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about maybe a yard on the play. If that, it's fourth down and long, fourth and seven, fourth. And we've got a stoppage in play. Huge defensive play here for the coming up for the Eagles. The big lad coming in there. No gain on the play. Fourth and seven from the 31. Now they restart the clock. Looking at their field goal kicker, his long is 38, so this is well beyond his range. That'll be about a 48 yard, 48 yarder. Sherman in the backfield. Round tree to the top. Charles in motion, fake the toss. Come out here, look deep. He's got a man running in the end zone, but it's beyond his reach and out of bounds, incomplete. They're in that fake pitch with a boot back, Charlie. It was a nice design play. Just we didn't, they didn't fool the Eagles. They stayed to their yeah. keys and did what they're supposed to do. Roundtree was able to get a little bit of separation in the end zone, but the ball was out of the end zone, not catchable. So it will go over on downs. Nice defensive stop there by the Eagles. They needed that. Much needed. Stay within one score and you're okay. Get down two and now you're looking at they're going to run the clock, run the ball, run the clock. They rent back out. The busted play on the on the pass attempt it really hurt them. Got them out of sync there a little bit. And they they're not a big play offense. They have done it today, but they're not usually. Langlois is the back to the left of Delarant. He looks, rolls outside. Catch made by Cole Schroeder. One of his possession receivers. Yeah, pick up of six. That's a nice move on first down. Second and four. Got out of bounds. Now they start the clock. 
the basketball team being ball guys there on the sidelines for the Eagles. Those are some pretty big guys. Yeah, they got he got some heights. Run up the middle by Langwad. Going to pick up three. He's going to come up about a yard short. Speaking of the Eagles basketball team, I heard their 6'11 center torn Achilles, and he is done. It's bad luck. Never good to lose your 6'11 kid. Nope, it's hard to teach that. Can't teach height. Third and one, and... Good spot by the official. Aldridge going to get close as he leaned the ball out there. They're not going to... uh, Measure it from there. They're looking to see whether it's a first down or not. One guy on the sticks wants to move. The other guys don't want to move, so now it is a first down. I'm wondering about that one, Charlie. (laughs) Yeah. I think we got a favorable spot and a uh, favorable look-see on the sideline. New set of downs. Delarant going to roll left. Now he's going to have to come back, avoids a couple of people, going to have to figure out a way to get down and get out. He gets out of bounds. He's pulled. He actually got tackled by number 22 for the for the William Penn, uh, Colton Horak. Yep. He actually is uh, one of their, uh, he's their leading interceptor. He's got two on the season. 20 total tackles coming into the game. Enough for another first down. Just into Statesman territory at the 49-yard line. Lights are on. Delarant hands it. Aldridge moves Aldridge. forward. Not down yet. Now he is. He's a little quick to the line of scrimmage, Charlie. He's quick, one of the quicker backs I've seen. Remember, he went out in the first half, came up gimpy after it. He's still a little gimpy, but... Uh, that's the uh, old Willie McGee, St. Louis Cardinals, can't hardly stand up and do anything and then steal second base. I like Muhammad Ali and myself, sit there and do the rope of dope and all of a sudden come back and beat you know, the tar out of you. Wide receivers that can't hardly walk anymore, and then as soon as the ball snapped, they've got 9-2 speed. Correct. De Laurent, lots of motion back and forth. That's Keeley. Aldridge again. Pushing forward, not going to get there. They're trying to strip the ball out. He's going to come up about two and a half, three yards short. So it'll be third down and about three. Demarion Hunter, their leading tackler. He's got four, had 46 coming into this ball game. Bolton comes in the ball game for the Eagles. Third and three. Four down territory if the Eagles decide that's what they want to do. A lot of that will depend on this. Everybody reshifts, and now we've got a tight end left. Two receivers to the top of the screen. And a handoff. No, nope. De Laurent keeps it. And goes forward for the first down. Great read there by De Laurent. Because it was going to be stopped out there on the wide side of the field, and he just took that and read, read his run pass option and he ran it. Rogan Forts with the tackle. He's made a lot of tackles in this ball game. First and 10 at the 37. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter. As this quarter rolls along with lots of running plays, the light rain starts falling again. Delarant looks downfield. He's got a man running post pattern that was open, but he's got one more open on entering the sideline, and it's a touchdown. 37-yard touchdown pass. Nice design play there. Nice call by Jacoby, the offensive coordinator. Coach Jacoby. Excuse me, Jacoby Bellard. Sorry. All right, now the extra point to tie it up. Connor Layton doing that long snapping for the Pirates. Excuse me, for the Eagles. Bring in a dry ball. Or they bring in the kicking ball. I don't know which way. They have so many... Each side has football they like to use. Snap down, back, on the way. Good, and we're tied at 21 with 5.41 to go. Nice drive there by the Eagles. Very well engineered, very well called by the OC, and very well executed. Yeah. 
I saw a man flash post, and so the defense went after him and left the uh, receiver, other receiver down here in the corner all alone, caught it and backed it into the end zone. Just a nice seam player. That's a post seam is what that's called. Got one coming right down the seam. So now can the defense hold again so they can get the ball back and try and get the lead? It's going to turn over, Charlie, we think. Gavin Roundtree has deep light rain falling. Ball gets a little slippery in the rain. Petron approaches, foot into it. Going to land in the end zone for a touchback. So nice kickoff, no return. And now the defense is back out. Try to stop again and get the ball back. If the Eagles could get the lead and force... William Penn to play a little different style of football than what they've been used to. That could uh, may be beneficial to the Eagles to make them throw the ball a little more often. That's not something they do a lot of. You get a two-score lead here, they're going to press a little. Well, they'll have to, but you got to stop them here. That's correct. Like I said, the ball is going to get a little slick here. Sherman back in, right behind all the quarterback. Motion. Handoff. Not uh, downfield five or six yards before he gets contact this time. He's going to pick up about two on the play. Be second down and about eight. Sherman may be getting a little tired, Charlie. He acted like he didn't have that oomph there that time. Well, he's been stopped the last couple times. i will tell you what, you run that ball 20, 30 times a game, you're uh, going to get tired. He had 124 in the first half. He's got 20 here in the second half, so either adjustment or fatigue. Motion. Or a combination the, of both. Yep, there's the toss. Outside. Wrapped up and taken down. Lost the helmet, so we'll have to come off the field. That's Eric Mays. Official wants it reset. Loss of four, it's third and 12 now. Under five to go here in quarter number three as a light drizzle continues to fall. Worry about him coming up so quick, Charlie, on those. Hope he's reading his keys and make sure that is a pitch and not a, a fake pitch and then hit somebody down that seam for a long touchdown. Well, he has to come out for one play because he lost the helmet on the play. Play the two deep safety here. Eagles are. Lots of pressure, but they move by him, moving up in the pocket. Under pressure some more and going to be sacked back at the 20-yard line. London Chambers. London Chambers on the stop. That'll make it fourth down and a lot. So two consecutive stops by the Eagles. First one, they got the ball and scored. A lot of pressure out of Will Miles on that play, too. Cooper Wilson back to receive this punt, standing at his own 40-yard line. This is Trapper Bame, standing at his six, gets the snap, gets it away, almost blocked, but not quite. Fair catch way far and taken by Wilson at the 40-yard line, and the Eagles set up business first and 10 at the 41. That's their best field position of the game, I think. That's the best they've had in quite a while. Like see another recipe, cook up what you did last series and yeah. run on down that field and then little passes mixed in and do a little bit of everything. Yeah, Aldridge with some nice runs and then a big pass play. Aldridge is back out there again. A couple of runs by Delarant in that group. Schroeder, Wilson, bottom of the screen. Aldridge the one running back. Turn, hands it to him, cuts inside, hops over. Pulls forward. The one thing Jim Ray is, he's throwing forward. He's getting an extra yard when he's going down. He's leaning forward, reaching out, getting all that he can out of every play. He's very elusive. I mean, he gives him the hip. He could have been stopped right there. He faked out, went back inside, and he's been doing that. Give him that little hip slip, as I call it. Gain of four, second and six. Dry ball comes in from the sideline. 
people are yelling from the stands here work together. I think they're working pretty well together right yeah, now. They're pretty, doing a pretty good job. I don't know who, who they think is not pulling his own weight right now, but the line's been doing a better job of opening up some holes. There's a bump in the handoff. Delarant going to go out of bounds. No gain on the play. Forts pushes him out of bounds. Looked like a busted play, Charlie. It certainly did. They come to bumped into each other, and then rather than try and get the handoff in there and, for, and force it, Delarant pulled it out and got what he could, which was not much, but he didn't take a big hit either. So that's good. Third and six. Save to fight another day. Big play for the Eagles here with 2.55 to go. Roll out. Block picked up. Pass out, but comes up short. Could be fourth down. And Delarant and one of the uh, players from William Penn, Turner Ellis, have a few words for each other. Both freshmen. I thought he got hit after the after the play. It could have been a roughing the pass if he didn't fall down. So, so it's fourth down, and Petrin in the punt. Couldn't step into that throw, Charlie. That's what made that ball bounce in front of him. Luke Masters deep for the punt. Fourth and six. 248 left in quarter number three. Good snap. Rush comes. Gets it away. Let's see what kind of a bounce this one takes. Not much, and it's downed right there. Lane Moody with the touch of it. First and 10. 28 yard line, 29 yard line. All of a sudden, turned into a defensive struggle, huh, Charlie? Yeah, and I that's I don't mind William Penn not having the ball for four or five or six minutes and marching it down the field, running it and getting a score. Two stops in a row. See if the Eagles can stop them three times in a row. Hall, not Sherman behind him. Is Sherman behind him? Pulls forward. He's got a little more energy right now. Yeah, he does. That didn't look like a – we have a stoppage of clock. Yeah, don't know why they did that. It's a gain of six. Helmet came off, I guess that's why. Mexicano's helmet came off. Seems like we have a lot of trouble with those helmets coming off, Charlie. It does. I guess we don't have them uh, securely on. You change your snaps. You've got problems like that. Second and four. Sherman again. Wow. Finds his way through the pile to get another first down. Sherman on the carry. He's a workhorse. On the stop for the Eagles. First down, 10, William Penn. Ball at the 41. A gain of six on the play. First and 10. 2.04 as we approach the two minute mark. Here in quarter number three. Very fast quarter. Tristan Ross, the wide receiver, bottom of your screen. No, I imagine we'll see that anytime soon. The trap play coming here and then pitch. pitch. Nice play all the way around as they got the quarterback to pitch it. That was Mays that made that first hit. Archer Charles with the carry. Ends up gaining a yard. Slattery and Chambers on the stop. Initial hit was by Mays. Second down and nine. William Penn running the clock. Play clock's down to 17. Hall, second and nine. Motion. Running back who's not. Name Sherman carries the ball. That's number eight, Keegan Simmons. A quicker to the line, but not near the ball. Bradley on the they say Bradley on the stop for the Eagles, I believe. Yeah. So I'm looking to see. It's going to be third down and four for the Statesman. Under 50 seconds. We're at 43 right now to go here in the quarter. This could be the last play of the third quarter. Big third down play here for the Eagle defense. Third and four. Reverses his field. It's a quarterback keeper, and he's off and running. 
One away. player with a chance to tackle him does not do it. Into the end zone, no flags. Reverse direction came back. And a 53-yard touchdown run. Is there a flag on the play? They said there was. They said there was. I don't see a flag anywhere. He said no flags. I thought he said flag on the play. Officials walking over here to do something. Looks like something going to be against William Penn. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 11 of the offense. That penalty is forced. So unsportsmanlike conduct on Hall after the 53-yard his run. 27-21, 21.8 to go. We'll leave us in to try the extra point. 18 of 19 on the season. So William Penn will be kicking off from their 20-yard line after that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Be like kicking off from it with a safety. Correct. That kick is low and no good. Ooh, could be a key it, to the game. The, the last three kicks that he's had have been low, and that one was low and went off to the side. So 27-21. 20.6 to go here in the third quarter. I certainly hope that comes back to haunt them, Charlie. I hope it does, too. Touchdown and extra point. Give the Eagles the lead if they can get there. They have a good opportunity right now kicking off from the 20-yard line. Yeah, the Eagles should get good field position out of this. By good field position, I'm talking between the uh, 30 and 40-yard line minimum, you would think. William Penn will come out, and they will be kicking off from their own 20. So Trapper Bame will kick off. They realize where they're kicking off from. They're going no, back I don't think so. Deep. We're too deep. We're going to have to move up. Everybody's moving up. We're going to have to move up to about the 20 instead of standing back around the 5. At least to the 20. I'd come up to about the 30. With Big Boy, there's a chance. Got a deep man deep. And it's going to be caught. It's going to be a touchdown. CMU. No flags on the play that I can see. That's good. We tie it up here at 27-27 at the start of this fourth quarter. Delaron, that was about a 49-yard touchdown pass. From Delaron to Wilson, I believe. Petrin coming on to do the extra point. This will put CMU ahead by one. Connor Leighton, Leighton doing the snapping. There's snap ball down. The kick is up. And it is good. We got a 15 yard, we got a penalty flag flying at the end of conclusion of that play. Like for the white hat to make the call, it looked like there was about four of them going on. Don't know who it's on yet. Having a meeting there of the officials right there on the 15-yard line. Of William Penn. We'll get a call here from the white hat very shortly. The Eagles do take the lead, 28 to 27. Here's the call. There's a lot of laundry out there, Jim, right? About four of them. Four dirty towels. So now an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Central on the extra point. So they'll be kicking off from the 20-yard line. And we see what that we saw what advantage that was in the last series. And we apologize. We got knocked off the air. Our laptop shut down for the time being. We've got it back up and going again. Won't have a clock on it like it did before because we can't sync, get it uh, synchronized in time. But we'll tell you the time as we go along so that you do it. Jim Ray did a great job of doing that while I worked with Michael, our producer, to try and get the picture back up. So Petron will kick off from his own 20-yard line. Eagles got it out at the 42-43 off of the William Penn kickoff from the 20. So let's see what the Eagles can do with the kickoff. He's one of those out-of-the-end zone kicks right now. 
Yeah, that'd be really nice, but that's uh, 80 plus yards in the air. Gives it a good rip back inside the 15. Almost falls down. Be nice if that he called him down there. That's what's bad. Was the back of the end zone kick, Charlie? Yeah, that was that was out of the out of the end zone. Would have been. See, we need to keep their composure here. Been a clean game. They don't need any of that silliness. Connor Hayes with the run back. Always tell people when they have them sportsmen like they need to feel like they need to know that they've been here before, not to have those silly. As a former coach of, of stuff, I always told the kids, "Act like you've been here before." Exactly. Even if it's the first time you ever hit a home run, at least act like you know what you're doing. Have respect for the game. Davy and Stockard on the field late. Sherman with the ball carrier. You can see it right there. You see that big old hole right off that off tackle? Yeah, he's had that a lot, and he picks up uh, five on that play. I don't know if they're sealing that linebacker, can't get there or what. I, I can't quite see it. 14-16 left in this fourth quarter. 28-27 Eagles. Martel Mott, wide receiver, bottom of the screen. That's number eight, Keegan Simmons with the carry. Great. Stood up at the line. Hernandez on the stop, a little fire plug. Brings up a third down play here. No gain, so it's third and five. 13-44 left. Big third down play for the Eagle defense. See, a, I think, a flicker of sun out there, Charlie. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a little rainbow. blue sky, too. Third and five. This has been Sherman most of the ball game. He's not in there right now. That is Simmons behind the quarterback. He gets the ball, and he's tackled after a one-yard game, and it'll be fourth down. So you wonder if Simmons is out of gas, getting some work on the sideline or what because that was a big play and he was not out there the last two of that series you mean sherman yes i'm sorry simmons was in there simmons was in there sherman was not sherman unofficially is 161 yards in the game well that's a big defensive stop there and the eagles have the lead now 28 27 and they're going to get the ball back oh and there's a roughing the pick Nope, nope, they're not going to call it because they're going to say he was blocked into it. So get out of that, luckily, and a helmet comes off on the side. And I thought that was it. I thought he was going to be running into it. But he did get blocked into it, but that usually doesn't happen that way. It usually doesn't get called that way either. That was Darian Bell back there. So the Eagles, because we were watching to see if the flag was going to come out on that, have the ball at the 41-yard line in their territory. One-point lead with 12.40 to go. CMU score here would make it a still be still a one, one possession game, but you got to get a two point conversion. I wouldn't do that. I'm making that way they can only tie. So we had the sound of Central band at halftime along with the Envy Dance group. Run the ball forward, don't get very much. Lang Wah on the carry. Aldridge back in. He's been he's been the best back today so far. He has a running back committee by committee. When there's really no number one. Yeah, on, on a lot of occasion, uh, he's he has started uh, early in the year with Sean Simmons getting it, and then uh, Keeley came in and took a spot for a little while, and now Aldridge has the spot for right now. So it's everybody. Go with who's hot at the time, and that's Aldridge right now. Has a gain of two, second and eight. Back to pass, no pressure. Looks around. Now he's going to come out. Throws back across his body, which is tough. Sliding catch not made. At the 45-yard line in Statesman territory. Great play there by number 24 for the Statesman. That would be uh, Spencer Steele. Yeah. Freshman out of Goddard, Kansas. In the Jayhawker State. 11.52 to go in the ball game, barring overtime. Might as well have an overtime, too, hadn't we, Charlie? Yeah, we've been here quite a while. Are we getting paid by the hour? I hope so today, but I doubt it. I doubt it, too. 
Cole Schroeder comes back in. Five on the play clock. Don't want to waste the timeout. Get the playoff. Pressure. Steps up. Now he's going to go, and he's going to get the first down. Going to get more than that. Slides down at the 42, 43-yard line. It'll be a first down. For such a big, tall, leggy guy, he's got some elusiveness. He runs faster than I think he does. He's taken up a lot of, lot, a lot of yardage by the steps. He's up a lot of turf. He had 25 yards rushing in the first half. And he picked up about 12 or 14 on that play. Big first down for the Eagles. In statesman territory now, 11.42 to go. They haven't started the clock yet. I don't know why they didn't do that. He slid down for a first down. Aldridge going to pick up a yard or so. It's that whole mighty quick. They've been real good at catching that. The officials have catching that misguiding clock there. Yeah, they missed that one. Yeah. Gain of just over a yard. So it's second down and nine. A little different formation. 13. Here, yeah. They're going to break out of it. Send Keeley to the slot. Out to a wing. Low snap kind of has ruined this play. And it's intercepted. Ah. Just thinking in my mind here. Haven't had an interception. There's a flag over on the sideline. Yeah, he spiked the ball after he got up after the interception, so we'll get an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So instead of having it out by midfield, it'll be back inside the 30-yard line, 35-yard line. But the low snap kind of disrupted that play from the get-go. It would have been time to eat the ball or throw it out of bounds. If you're out of the tackle box, wing it. So the penalty flag is at the 41, so uh, that would be back to the 26 if it is unsportsmanlike, and it is because he's, he's got up and spiked the ball. See that on television. You can't do that in here. Not here. It's either uh, unsportsmanlike conduct or delay of game because you, he spiked the ball, but the clock's not running, so you can't call delay of game for that. He's a called unsportsmanlike. They're uh, having a long conversation about it. Here comes the white hat out to uh, talk to us. After the interception. So 22, that's Horak who made the interception. So, uh, Jim Ray, do I interpret this correctly, that they're going to enforce both of these penalties? That is, that is correct, Charlie. I was getting ready to say that. They're going to enforce both of they're them. They're going to enforce the block in the back. From the spot of the foul, and then half the distance to the goal. Maybe. For the unsportsmanlike that happened after the play was over. Yeah, it could be half the distance to the goal. 13-yard line. So instead of having it out beyond the 40, it's back at the 13, but they still have the ball with 10.56 to go. Great punt. <laughs> Very effective. Won't look good on De La Ronde's stat sheet. We pin him back deep here. Maybe we'll get some great defense again, Charlie. Hall. Going to throw it. Out pattern in a hurry to Roundtree. Be run out of bounds. Up. Tackled inbounds. Out at around the 21. That'll be second down and short. Put a lot of people in the box. It makes those out patterns open. Second and three. Ran a receiver underneath and then out. And the out guy was open, and that is Gavin Roundtree. He only had two catches coming into the game. He's got a touchdown catch plus a couple more in this game. Hall almost can't get the ball to Sherman, but does, and he bulls ahead for a first down. Great recipe right now for them. They keep ball control and run down there and run off about seven minutes, and we're going to be in trouble. Ten minutes and ten seconds and counting. Need another stop, and we need to get a score, Charlie. We need a stop and a drive. Hall. 
Sherman. Not going anywhere this time. Unofficially, that's his 30th carry of the ball game. They get up off the pile. Mexicano on the, on the tackle. 30 carries, 168 yards unofficially for Ben Sherman. That's a lot of, that's a lot of toting that ball, Charlie. He had 124 at halftime, so he's got 24 or he's got 44 here in the second half. Second and 10, 9 10 to go in the ball game. Hall under center. Up the middle. Nope, keeps it, does Hall. Goes outside, goes airborne, and comes down to the turf. Loses the ball, but they're going to say down by contact. Almost a break there for the Almost Eagles. Almost is coming out of there with the ball. Was an Eagle player headed towards the end zone. So a gain of three on the play. It will be third down and seven for the Statesman with 8.42 to go. Look for that pitch out here to the wide side of the field, Charlie. That or a quick pass back to the short side of the field. That's the way I would do it. Mott to the bottom of the screen. Hadn't caught a pass today that I am aware of. Bring the wide receiver on the other side in, and a timeout call by the Statesman. 8.16 to go as they brought Adrian Avilas in motion, brought him back. That's not what they wanted, so big play at third and seven. Statesman take a timeout. I think that's their first of the second half. They've got two left. The Eagles have all three of theirs left. Again, would like to thank all the corporate sponsors. And partners that make this possible, MFA Oil, the Braun Home, Jennings Premium Meats, Community Auto Sales and Service, Air Link, Drury Hotels, Missouri Pacific Lumber, Howard County Electric, and Commercial Trust Company. Little Jeffy will fix you up with the car down there at uh, the car Commun- sales. Community Auto Sales. Good guy. Did his dad quite well. Show Jeff Davis. Shout out to little Jeff. As I've always called him. Got the Jennings over in New Franklin at the uh, Jennings Premium Meats. We buy their pork packs all the time. My wife goes there constantly. I like their bacon. It's the best in the Midwest. There you go. So we're back. Third and seven from the 31. Sherman behind Hall. Motion. Fake the pitch. Look downfield, still looking downfield, under pressure, gets away, gets away, going to heave it now, and it goes through the hands. Great pressure by the Eagles. Roundtree. Roundtree worried about getting his feet down, had the ball go through his hands as he was looking down to tap, make sure he was in bounds. It's now fourth and seven, 8.07 to go. We've lost the clock that was on our scoreboard. That's why I repeat the uh, clock time a little more often for you. Trapper Bame back to punt. Averages almost 38 a punt. Gets it away. Little knuckleball that's going to hit about the 43 and back up to about the 47 yard line where it's touchdown. Eagles with 7.56 to go in the ball game and a one point advantage. Separating players on the far side over in front of the William Penn bench. And it's one of those players that's hard to miss. That's Hards coming off. Coach Cowley giving a talking to to one of his linebackers. Won't mention name, but uh, it wasn't a pleasant conversation. Yeah. They he weren't exchanging phone numbers to be buddies. No, I don't believe so. I believe Coach has got all his phone numbers in his phone anyway. He's one of those guys that operates out of two cell phones. So Delarant back out. He's been the quarterback all day. Sometimes Jalen Brown switches with him. He keeps it and lunges ahead for maybe a yard. If he'd have pulled out a little quicker, he had a pretty good seam there. So he gets one, second down and nine, as we are at 740 to go here in the fourth quarter. A nice five, six-minute drive. Jim Ray and a touchdown would be okay. I'll tell you what, how much time is left, Charlie? 730. I'll just take a 730 drive. I don't even care if they score. <laughs> just hang on to it till the end. Aldridge in the eye behind 
De La Ronde, he's letting the clock run down. It's at 15 to play clock. Turns and hands. Going to pick up a yard. It'll be third down and eight. Bringing their pass defense here to the Statesman. See if he wants to go back to Cooper Wilson again. That's been his possession receiver today. Him and Schroeder, I believe Schroeder's caught several too. Yep. Wilson's at the bottom of the screen. Schroeder's up at the top. Getting a warning over here by the official on the CMU sidelines telling yeah. them to move back. Where, where's our get back coach for that, Jim Ray? Don't know. They bring pressure off the hands and incomplete as that was intended. For Roberto open. Palacios, senior from Los Angeles. He'd been close to a first down. Close enough to give him thought to do something with it, but 6.35 to go, and the Statesmen look like they're going to get the ball back. See if Petrie can punt that ball deep. Luke Masters deep, standing back at his own 15-yard line. See if they put some pressure on Petrie and make him punt it a little quicker. He's held on to it a little while and given his – Teammates a chance to get down. Here comes the rush. He gets it away. It's going to land short and bounce, and I hope it takes a big roll. Oh, why did you jump up and take that? Why don't you let it bounce again and see if it wanted to roll some more and run some more clock off? So they have it at the 20. We're talking to him, too, a little bit. Say, hey, let that go next time. Get enough eagles around it. If it bounced forward, you wouldn't have lost much yardage. So we're back to Rodney Hall and Ben Sherman. Been their offense for the most part all day long. What's he got Sherman in 32 Lomp? carries? I've got him unofficially for 30 carries for 168. And he's 31 and he's lost yardage on that as Will Miles tackles him. Will doing his great job. He had, he's a leading tackler at halftime. He had four total tackles. Loss of two. Second and 12 as we approach six minutes to go. Eagles have made a nice adjustment to stop Sherman after he ran pretty wild in the first half. 21 carries for 124. He's got 10 carries now in this half for 42. Roundtree, the big play receiver, top of the screen. Hall, inside dive, not going very far. And we're doing a better job stopping up the middle. And somebody's hurt. Yeah, that's a player from William Penn down. With an offensive lineman. Gets three yards on that. It'll be third down and a long nine, short ten. With the cooler weather, we haven't had cramps today. Knock on wood so far. Of course, we've played part of the first quarter and then stopped for a while and played the second rest of the first quarter and the second quarter and had halftime. We've been able to move along with this one since that point in time. No more lightning strikes. No more lightning delay. Don't it's jinx this, Charlie. Up. Don't jinx this. It's clouding up is, is this like baseball? That once you get past the fifth inning or something, it's an official game? And once you get in the fourth quarter, it's an official game? I don't think so, Charlie. Yeah, we're ahead now. We could call it like we did up there. Yeah, it, we, we might just have to say that's it and let's all go home happy. Yeah, I'll be here till midnight waiting on that. <laughs> well, you can do that, Jim Ray. If you're doing it, if I'm doing it, you're doing it too, Charlie. I don't know. If we're going to stay on the air, I guess i got to stay unless I leave Michael here, which I'm not going to do that. Michael Moana doing our production work for us today. Does a great job. Got three cameras going around. Third and almost ten. Round three, number ten to the top of the screen. Avilas, who hasn't caught a ball, I don't think, today. He came in with four receptions on the year at the bottom. Looks that way towards Roundtree and throws it over his head and incomplete. Uncatchable. Fourth and ten as it was just too tall. You got Roundtree's numbers over there. He's number ten. Boy, height and weight. I do, Charlie. Sorry. It's okay. 
He's not near tall enough. He's 5'11", 175. Yeah, and I think that's probably being pretty generous at 5'11". He does not look that tall, but he's just a freshman, too. He's out of Stevensville, Texas. Bame back to punt. On the ground. Gets it off. Nice kick, and if it takes a big bounce, hanging on to it, there is Cooper Wilson, which that saves some yardage that would have rolled further, so nice play there. Always, Eagles have it, 5-10 to go. Always worry about that when they do that, though. I know, but I've seen it too many times where you let it go in another 10 or 15 yard rolling down the field, and your field position, instead of being at the 44-yard line, you're back around the 30. I understand. Be nice if they could at least get into a field goal range here for Petron. But if you're going to do that, might as well go all the way down and score with 5-10 to go and a one-point Eagle lead. We'll keep that ball and motivate it down, matriculate it down the matriculate field. Matriculate it down the field. Still, still a line from Hank Strand back in the Super Bowl in 1970. Back in the day. Yep. Hand off. Not going anywhere is Aldridge this time. He's going to lose almost five on that and make it second and 15. Fans wanting the offensive line to make a way for the running back to get through. Second and 15. He lost more than I thought he did, I'll tell you that much. Well, he bounced out and went backwards and got tackled further back. If he had stopped where he was, he'd have lost a couple. But you can't tell them to just lay down. The, the instinct is to keep trying to find a way to get out of that pile. De Laurent reverses his field, picks up a couple of blockers. Going to run, stay in bounds. Goes back and forth. Shimmy move out to the 49-yard line, 48-yard line in Statesman's territory, and it'll make it third and two. That was a nice job oh, by they move it back now to the 49, so it'll be third and three. Nice job by a, a smart move there by the quarterback. He had, That was like a veteran. Of course, he is a veteran. This is his second year. That's he a 12-yard pickup with that run. Big play at third and three with 3.53 left in the fourth quarter. Nine on the play clock as De Laurent runs it down. Keeps it up the middle, dives forward, stretches out, first down. Paxton Delarant, and he's getting res- he's getting some respect from his teammates right now for what he's done the last couple of plays and what he's done today. He's becoming more and more of the offensive leader of this team. He's the quarterback, obviously he is anyway, but he's putting himself on the line for the team to get the win. And a couple more first downs, this game will be over with. 319. Statesmen have two timeouts left. They're going to stand there as the play clock's at 12 and run some more clock down to 310 and ticking. Snap it with three on the clock. Push that pile, push it. Yeah. And I think we're going to get a timeout called by the Statesmen. That will be their second of this half. They'll have one left with 258 to go. And I'll tell you about Jim Ray mentioned Community Auto Sales and Service. They're their one-stop shop for all your automotive needs from brakes, tires, and oil changes to front-end alignments, engine repair, batteries, and state inspections. They have everything and can do anything to keep you on the road safely. Proud supporter of Eagle Athletics. You can buy a car there too, Charlie. You can get a lot of things done there. Had a nice yellow pickup truck that I saw on my way into town today sitting on their lot. You look good in yellow. I've been told I wear a lot of yellow, so uh, might as well ride in it. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have to be borrowing a truck from somebody. Of course, everybody come and borrow yours. So it's a no-win situation. If you want to come to my town, Jim Ray, and borrow my truck, I'd let you do that. Right. If I had a truck, and if you wanted to come to my town to do that, I understand. Been don't, to Orangeburg a few times. It's only an hour and ten minutes for you from where you are. Three minutes exactly left in this fourth quarter. First and ten. One timeout left for the Statesman. So two first downs will do it for sure and one might do it. Because yeah, they're going to call another timeout right after this one. 
And then that'll be the end of the timeouts, and you're going to be able to run the ball and run 40 seconds off after every play. If I count that up right, what is that, about a 40, 80, about a minute. It's going to be 160 seconds. Yeah, so move it here. If they hold them, I mean, Statesman could get the ball back with about 25 seconds left in the game with no timeouts. De La Rock gets the snap with one, hands it off. Up the middle it goes. I think that's Langlois. Bolton it is, rather. And there's the final timeout by the Statesman with 2.51 to go. If they get one more first down, I believe she's over, Charlie. Well, at this point, 40 seconds from this point would be 2.11 plus the play, so probably 2.05. And then 40 seconds off of that for the next play would be down to 125. So you can get it down underneath a minute. One one first down, one more first down anyway, whether it's on third down, second down, or fourth down, and this game will be over. That is correct. We'll be able to run off 160 seconds. It's two minutes and 40 seconds. For your, excuse me. Yeah, two minutes and 40 seconds. The line needs to push forward for another first down as it is second down and five. Scoreboard says third and ten, but that's not right. Looking for the yard marker on the side. They say it's third down and five. I still don't see a yard marker over there to tell me that, and there it goes. Sleep at the wheel. Good band back in the day. Clock not running, 2.55. De Laurent dives forward, but the ball comes out. They're going to say the ground caused the fumble because he had it extended. They're going to say it's fourth down, and it's going to be fourth and a yard, and the clock ought to be running, and it is with 2.43 to go, 37 on the play clock. Interesting thought here. He's got to make a decision, Coach Callaway does. Does he leave it here or try to pooch kick? Go it's fourth forward. and one. We're going to run the clock all the way down to uh, one second and call a timeout and talk about it. I think I'd go for it, Charlie. Yeah. We'll have 206, 207 when they call the timeout. They're walking up to the line like they're going to run a play. Now they're looking at the sidelines. Nobody's going into a stance. So they're going to wait for it to get down. Coach is standing right next to the official on this side. Calls it with 2.06, and we'll talk about it. I'd go for it, Charlie. I really would. Well, I don't know that you're going to gain a whole lot if you, unless you pooch it inside the 10. But if you kick it and it rolls in the end zone, you're only going to pick up 17 yards total I mean, because it's going to come back out to the 20 anyway. Correct. I do the quarterback keeper again. He can extend that ball, or I'd give it to the uh, number 26. With, um, Bolton? Nope, not at 26, the other guy. Keeley? Ke- no. How about Aldridge? Aldridge, got dog. Six. It was, right on my, it was right on my tongue, and I couldn't get his name out. Kept going to numbers. I knew it wasn't the right number. So I'm sure they're going to crowd the middle and look for a quarterback sneak or something inside the tackles. Keeley is the back, back with Delarant. Could try to pull him off here with a hard count. Could be, or he could just run uh, Keeley in front of him as a guard and try and gouge out one yard. And that's what he tries to do, and he falls forward, and he's pretty close to it. They're marking him short, and he, he's leaned way out. See what the far side official, it's going to be short because he, he landed at the 34-yard line, and they're marking it at the 35, which would be a first down for William Penn. Terrible so his spot. knee must have been down before saying. he leaned forward. That's what they're saying. All right, so William Penn has 202. Fans not happy with the spot. Coaching staff not happy with the spot. He's official on this sideline, too, on the central sidelines, the one that made that spot. That is correct. It should have been from the other he's side. He's the linesman, the... and he's going to catch it on this side from everybody concerned. 
We need to get back, Coach. Everybody needs to get back. Don't get called for a sideline infraction. 202, no timeouts for the Statesman. Pretty much got to throw the ball, I would think, Charlie, and they're not very good at that. But. Hall back, looks down, throws the ball for Roundtree, but it's over his head, incomplete, no flag. Second down and 10, 157. Roundtree's the receiver of favor right now. He's the receiver of choice. I'm not sure that I wouldn't roll somebody on top of him and keep him from getting a long pass. Playing a cover two look here. We've got two deep safeties. May go to three deep safeties. Let me check this defense out. Kaiwan Collins comes in. Another D back and a lineman comes out. We've got three linemen out there right now. Still don't know if that's the best move. I like to see that. They're playing the two deep safeties, what they're playing. Round trees at the bottom of the screen. Can't let him get behind you. Hall, motion, back to throw, under pressure, gets away, jump pass in the air, and he completes it for a first down. Luke Masters. That was like a escape artist there. Houdini. Clock running, 145 and counting. Can't stop it except by spiking it. Hall calling out a play. Wristband look. Everybody takes a peek. The interception here, folks. Rolls this way across. He's left-handed rolling the wrong way. Throws it. And it's complete to Roundtree. And now in enough close enough range, and they start the clock again. 125. He can get the ball to the end zone from here. Big tackle. Sack back there. Darren Bell. Tackle. Clock runs at 107. Come on, guys. You got to get ready. Come after him again. They're taking their time. Under a minute. No timeouts. And move, there's move, a false move. start. Didn't go on first sound. Move them back five more. See if that's any runoff in the pros. It is in the college, too, isn't it? Ten-second runoff. Going to go from 55 to 45 because they don't have a timeout. 45 seconds. Second down. Clock and 19. Start. There, you there go. he goes. Got a receiver out in the flats, going to pick up the penalty yardage and the loss on the play. Archer Charles. Third down now, and about eight. 35 seconds left in the game. Big play here. We'll take two big plays, Charlie. <laughs> well, I'm thinking first down to stop the clock and move the ball forward. Incomplete pass will stop the clock and make it fourth down. 13 on the play clock. Sherman out there is just a blocker. He's not even a decoy to run the ball. Crowd fires up. Back, looks, 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 throws the ball. Caught right at the marker. Might be short. It is short. Short. It's out of bounds, but it was going to be fourth down with 27 seconds to go, so they're going to have to waste the play to get a first down unless they throw it in the end zone. They coming out with a kicker? So I'm second, there was a kicker was coming out. I'm going to say, what the there heck? There is a kicker out there. It's fourth down, and they don't have any timeouts. Play clock's at 20, so that's not an issue. They're going to Is Central going to take a timeout? Yep, they're going to take a timeout. They're... Place kickers out there. His long is 38. The He's ball is at the 21. That's exactly what it would be is 38. He's had trouble with extra points tonight, too. Low line drives. I put Will Miles right in the middle, Charlie. And maybe Hards as well. Yep. Double them up in the middle, man. See if they can jump up. you got to watch protect on the outside. Watch the fake. Fourth and less than a yard. See where they put it down for Ethan Olivas. 
fact, I would be a little bit offset. I would Spencer offset. Steele is the holder. I would still offset to the wide side of the field with two big, tall guys. We're going to see another timeout from Central right before they snap the ball. This will be a 37-yarder. That is his long of the year. Snap back, ball down. Block! Yep. Excuse me. That's fine. I was looking at the goal post out my side window. Got my adrenaline flowing, Charlie. Will Miles is getting lots of high fives, so I'm going to guess he might have blocked that. Huge victory here, hopefully. 20.6, one kneel down, and that's it. 28-27 is going to be your final if one clean snap is handled. I still think that was a bad call, a bad spot up there on that one play. On the fourth down play? Yes, sir, I do. I believe you're correct because he fell forward. Now, where his knee was, where the ball was when his knee hit first, I don't know. Victory formation. No timeouts for the Statesman. Snap, down. De La Ron hands the ball to the official. Clock's going to run down. 40 seconds on the play clock. 13 on the game clock. And the Eagles are going to come away with a 28-27 hard-fought victory. Five, four, three, two. And there is your final score. Eagles go to four and two. Statesman dropped to one and five, but a big effort by them. Uh, Sherman, Ben Sherman, the running back unofficially, 32 carries for 169 yards, but only 45 of that came after halftime. He had 124 at the half. So, Jim Ray, your uh, your thoughts on the big win? Well, the defense stepped up here in this second half, and that's the difference in the ball game. Got offense has been percolating all the way through the game, and they they did their job. Del Ron, some nice runs, some just good old fashioned defense there by the Eagles. It was a great win. And they did it without a couple of their uh, star players being available. So, a good win for the Eagles. They're off this coming week. The whole heart is off this coming week. They built in a week of no play, so if they had to make up some games because of COVID or other issues, they could do that. So, no game next week on Saturday, but on the 16th, we're back here when Benedictine comes to town, and that'll be a 1 o'clock kick. So the four and two Eagles will face off against Benedictine on the 16th. So 28-27 is your final score. For Michael Moano, our producer, Jim Ray Cluck, Charlie Brown, thanks for tuning in and watching to this big win. And the Eagles take flight today with a 28-27 victory.